Did you wake up this morning and ask yourself, I want something that tastes not particularly like bourbon? Yup! Baby, shush. <laughs> so, we're gonna come at you guys with a list of uh, finished bourbons. Do you mean whiskey? And we're gonna start off with Broken Barrel 115 Cask Strength. This is hella good. Now we've talked about this in the past. They literally break down barrels at their site. They put the broken barrels in a big vat and they pour in the brown liquid and they let it sit and, and finish that amalgamation of broken shit. But the result is, it's this, it's this. It's so good. You should put your mouth around this bottle and try it. I don't have anything against a gimmick if it works, and this yeah. works. This absolutely works. It's really good. Uh, I know you've shared this bottle with multiple folks. We I want them to we try went through it. a fair amount of it the first time we got it because I mean it was just dang good. Was, we we were, when we did the review we drank a lot. That was kind of we just kept on drinking it the rest of the day. This was a surprise too. Broken Barrel where we are sits on the bottom shelf. Sometimes covered with dust. But I wanted to try it. I really want yeah. to try it because the bottle's pretty. Oh yeah, it's it's absolutely delicious. I I do look, really enjoy it. This is the uh, one that was sent to us. Thank you, Barrel. Barrel Vantage, new release. This is finished in, uh, it's a blend of straight bourbons, finished in Mizunaru. 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 French and toasted American oak. This is just freaking delicious. It's coming in what? It's coming in 114.44 proof. Here's the sad bit though. We don't know if we're tasting the Mizunara or not because we don't have anything to compare it with. I don't care if I'm tasting it or not. It I'm just tastes, tastes good. Oh uh, <laughs> Yeah, it tastes <laughs> super hella good. It's so good. Thank you, Beryl, for sending this. This. Can you send us another one? Because we drank this. We drank. We, yeah. It's going to be drank yeah. in the it, next. It's all gone. Uh, hour. Balthazar is a thirsty bitch. I want to keep it's I know it's out releasing right now. I'm gonna pick up another bottle of it. We tried this one last night in the date of this filming. We tried it on the live stream. This is Starlight Distillery's port finish. Do you like Derringer? Do you like rabbit hole Derringer? Yeah, that's trash compared to this. <laughs> this is super good. And you know why? Because it's the same shit I've been talking about for years, okay? Make it a higher proof point. Rabbit Hole Derringer would be freaking amazing if it was not 93 proof. Bump it up to 105, 110, and it will be on this level. Look how dark this is. Look how, look how dark this is. The darker the whiskey, the better, as my grandpappy always said. <laughs> All right, so uh, next on my list is Midwood Nice Dram. Now, admittedly, this is extraordinarily hard to come by, but it is so good. This is Act 9, Scene ten, uh, scene 1. It's the limited engagement. Uh, this is a blend of straight rye whiskeys finished in French oak port barrels. This is coming out of High West Distillery in Park City, Utah. It's sought after this time of year. Another one's releasing uh, very soon. This is one of the bottles we are hunting this year. It's rich. It's decadent. It's perfect for this time of year for that cool fall evenings, those winter nights. This, by fire, perfection. Pish off with that peasant dookie trash. Make way for royalty, bitch. Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Finish an Armanac Sherry in Cognac Casks. I, I, I might have had just a little bit of it the other night with a cigar. Did you fucking really? You had some of this without me. Just a wee bit. You bitch! This is a this is a you and me time. I I couldn't find a whiskey that paired with this particular cigar. Everything I tried was terrible. I need I so need, don't I need Francie. I need Francie. And so I just a little bit. It, it was perfection. But like I said, finishing Armanac sherry and cognac, and you can definitely taste all of those. That sherry note comes in really strong with the sweetness, and then there's a there's a nice. Nice, just mature flavoring between all three of the finishes. Oh, it, it's just hella good it's and it's so well balanced. super well balanced. Next, Angel's Envy Rum Cask. Caribbean. Caribbean Rum Cask. Let me, uh, let me be pancakes precise. Pancakes. Yes, it is pancakes in a freaking glass. I mean, literally, bready note. Mm. The butter, the maple syrup. It's so freaking good. It's almost heavy in your mouth, you know what I mean? Yeah. Very coating, very oily, absolutely delicious. This is batch number 13X, uh, bottle number 1646, but this is coming in at 100 proof, which is actually a little bit higher than most of the Angel's Envy, because I think they're usually coming in at about 90 proof. 
got Love similar it. notes to the Knob Creek smoked maple, but that's far too heavy. I would drink this more than that. Oh, that definitely. just tastes like syrup. This tastes like an actual pancakes could, no. and syrup. Yeah, I would sit there and just sip on this. Absolutely. Uh, this time of year, absolutely perfect. I absolutely love this. Hey, by the way, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content every week. And if you like what you see, if you like two goopers drinking bourbons and doing all sorts of shenanigans. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. Patreon, link in the description below. Uh, it's, it's not that much. Help us get another bottle of uh, cigar blend. $69,000 a month. Oh, that's a nice round number. 69. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>